This problem is white to live. And once again, my words of caution, slow down. It seems like white has big enough of an eye space. But because of black's shape here, white is actually in a little bit of danger. So white really needs to be careful. And by being careful, I mean white should craft two real eyes, right? Use the build two eyes approach rather than the enlarge eye space approach. So the correct move is right here, right? It guarantees one real eye here and another real eye here. And black cannot destroy either of those. So if black tries to come in, this will be guaranteed like this. And black cannot really come in here either. So white will be able to live like this if white plays number one. So you might be asking, where's the danger, right? What if we play this, enlarge the eye space, right? If black Atari is from the outside, then this will be a living shape. But what black can do here is actually play this move. And if white plays this, this will be a dead shape because white cannot connect here. If it connects, it will be captured instantly. So white can only capture, and now black will make this into a fake eye. And of course, if white plays number three here, then black will Atari, and this will be a dead shape. Similarly, this will also be a dead shape, and so is this. These are all dead shapes after the one and two exchange. And what about this? This is similar, right? Black can just bend on the first line. After this exchange, black can still play here, right? So this is something you should learn as black to kill the white group like this. So I guess the takeaway is number one, slow down if you're white. Think about how to build two eyes, how to make either eye undestroyable for black. And number two, if you're black, you should know this move so you can kill your opponent in actual games. Thank you for watching.